Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our English. We, we want to improve our vocabulary. The way we do so, the way we do that, is by learning a few new words every day. Today is our day number 29. Day 29. The very first word we're going to learn today is a word that I meant to cover uh, on day number 26. Today is 29. I meant to cover it on day number 26, but somehow I forgot. So I'm, I'm going to do it right now. The word is utilitarian. U till a It's an adjective, utilitarian. What does it mean? Utilitarian, if something is utilitarian, what they're trying to say is that it is practical. It is pragmat functional. It is pragmatic. It is pragmatic. Pragmatic is the word that we learn on day number 26. If you go to, if you want to learn this word in detail, just go to Keshwani, just type in this tag, Keshwani prep dash vocab dash 26 and it will pop right up. On day 26 when we learned the word pragmatic, a good uh, synonym of pragmatic would have been utilitarian and I somehow left it out. So I wanted to go back and, and, and take care of it. So if somebody says uh, it's, it's a pragmatic approach, what they tell you, tell you is that it's a, it's a practical approach, it's a, it's a, it's a realistic approach. Um, why did you do it? Uh, because did you, is it because uh, you liked it or you liked the idea or what was the reason? No, it's just, it's just a pragmatic thing to do at the time. It's just a practical thing to do at the time. I wasn't too keen about it, but I did it anyway. Understand? Because it was, it was practical. Why did you go and buy this thing from you know, from this particular merchant? I thought you hated it. Uh, you hated particular brand. Yes, I do hate it, because it but it was the closest store. I, I thought you hate uh, buying certain fast food uh, place from certain certain establishment. Then why did you buy it? Well, I was hungry. I didn't have the time. It was the closest restaurant that was open, so I bought it from there. It was a pragmatic thing to do. I was hungry. I had to eat something. I was being practical. I was being functional. I was being... It was a utilitarian approach. It was a utilitarian uh, uh, way of doing something. Utilitarian means, as I said, functional and pragmatic and realistic. Realist, realist or realistic. It also, as opposed to, as opposed to, as opposed to having. Aesthetic qualities. I do not know how, how I have so much trouble spelling simple words, qualities or appeal. Now, well, why did you buy this particular car? It's such an ugly color, such, a, such an ugly design. It doesn't look very nice. It looks awful. The, the body is uh, it's not very appealing. Why did you buy it? Well, I bought it because it was not very expensive. It was very reasonably priced. I bought it because the engine is very nice in it. It's very reliable. I bought it because it has a good mileage. So, your approach in buying that particular car was very utilitarian. It was a very pragmatic solution. It was a very utilitarian solution. As opposed to having any aesthetic value. We'll learn this word in a second. Aesthetic means having to do with beauty. Having to do with beauty. We're going to learn that word next. It means having to do with beauty. So you do something purely for the pragmatic reason, purely for the utilitarian reason, 
not because of the aesthetic reason, as opposed to doing something purely for the aesthetic reason, why you buy this particular car, or because I like the color of it, I like, I like the way it looks. Here, the person is purely going purely for the aesthetic appeal of the thing, aesthetic appeal of the thing, aesthetic qualities of the thing, as opposed to the utilitarian qualities of the, of the, of the thing. Do you understand? Let's learn with those aesthetic. Aesthetic means having to do with having to do with beauty. One speaks of one speaks of something lacking or having no aesthetic value or appeal. If something if something lacks or has no aesthetic value or appeal, what you're trying to say is having having no aesthetic value, having no aesthetic value or lacking aesthetic value, what you're trying to say is that that particular thing, whatever it is, is completely devoid of beauty. completely devoid of beauty. One talks about high-rise building that one sees in the cities. High-rise buildings, uh, particularly where I live, uh, where I live in Connecticut, when we're driving to the JFK airport, we go through Brooklyn area, and uh, over there, as you're driving, you see these high-rise projects, they, they're called, these are subsidized housing. High-rise buildings, they are ugly as hell. They have absolutely no aesthetic appeal at all. They, they are very ugly, they are very, uh, they are devoid of beauty. There is no artistic value in them whatsoever. They are made purely for the pragmatic reason of housing thousands and thousands of people on top of each other, 20, 30, 50 layers. And that's it. The, the purpose was to house these people as economically, as cheaply as possible. They were not looking for this aesthetic value, aesthetic appeal of the building, obviously. And that's what it means. Or sometimes people talk about cookie, cookie cutter houses. For those of you who are familiar with uh, that expression, you know what a cookie cutter is with the dough and so forth. When you when you cookie cutter, you put the same template and you keep making one after the other. They have no aesthetic value. The cookie cutter houses, the expression cookie cutter houses means that you drive down the street and this developer has developed this area where he puts one house next to the other and every single house looks the same. There are 50 or 100 or 1000 houses in the development and every single one of them looks the same as the next one. They have no aesthetic appeal, they have no, no they're devoid of beauty because they look exactly alike. That's what the word is, aesthetic. If you use this word with an S, aesthetics, which is a noun here, with an S, even though it is used with it, it, it ends in an S, aesthetics, but it is used with a Singular word, which is a branch of philosophy, aesthetics is a branch of 
of philosophy dealing with human perception of what is beautiful and there is a separate branch apparently in, in philosophy where the philosophers sit there and discuss what, what human perceive as beautiful and that branch in philosophy is called aesthetics with an S but it is a singular noun it is a noun this is not plural um, again rep I keep repeating myself it, is a, it ends in an S but it is a singular used as, with a singular verb branch of philosophy does this with the perception of what is beautiful just as a side note, in case you come across this thing, some people spell aesthetic as without the A. Some people spell it without the S, A. Oh, I left, I left something out in here. I left out the S. So you see there is no A in the front. Same thing here. You can spell it like this or you can spell it like this. Without, without the A. Either spelling is considered as, a, as an acceptable spelling. And the word was aesthetic, which means something to do with beauty, or aesthetics, which means a philosophy, uh, a branch of philosophy dealing with our perception of what is beautiful, what different cultures consider beautiful. What may, what may be considered as beautiful in one culture may, may have no aesthetic value whatsoever in the other cultures, in, in some other culture. One particular example comes to my mind, but I won't go there. Uh, yes, uh, uh, which, uh, uh, but that's what it is. That's it. I'm done for today. I'm done for today. I'll see you again tomorrow on day 30th. I hope you're. I hope you're learning these words uh, gradually, slowly. A few new, few new words every day, and expanding your vocabulary. If you wish to get hold of me for personal private tutoring, I tutor over the internet via Skype. I also do personal tutoring and over the telephone for any of these tests, the GRE, the GMAT, SAT and the TOEFL. Just go to any of these website addresses and send me an email. Or you can go to keshwaniprep.com and send me an email from there. And I will try to help you out in whatever way I can. Alright? Thanks.